that for Drake's? Right. He said, don't do that. They warn you against doing what the microwave is designed to do. There's a beverage setting. They warn you not to do it, though, because he said that too many people use the microwave to heat water. Yeah. And, and that, uh, that, is a, that can cause a dangerous situation. So you don't think that the government is trying to get you away from microwave. Now we come to the rich guy's thing, though. This is the real hidden danger. No, here's, here's the other thing is, if you're not going to use a microwave, are you going to use, what, a coffee maker? Yeah. Right? Or one of, um, what is it, uh, Artasmo, you know, the one cup beverage, you press it in. And yeah, which basically eats up a lot of power. But it says, use a water heater or a coffee pot to heat water. Don't, or the oven or the stove, but don't use a microwave to heat water, which is what they're basically used by almost every office in the world uses microwave. They'll sit there, take their thing, put it in there, heat it up, and then... You know, the coffee's not hot enough, let's put it in the microwave. Yeah, and it's all, yeah, then burn your hand off because the stuff is hot when you put it in for, for like X amount of seconds, all it does is increase the heat. Mm -hmm. But... This is the one, this is another one of the government, you know, where they're not alarmists. They just told you that only millionaires and billionaires eat well in our country. So what is the next thing on the list? Is the hidden microwave danger, which is nutrition. Ooh, yeah. There's much debate on the subject of whether or not microwaving food is more or less nutritional than conventional cooking. And although research shows there is nothing unhealthy about cooking your meals in the microwave, it, true, it may be true that people who regularly use their microwave to cook their food are less healthy than those people that are millionaires. And they, I, I'm putting millionaires and billionaires because this is what it's all about. This did come from Sibelius' office last okay, night. Okay, here, here's part of it with the microwave. Okay, let's say you're cooking a couple things on the stove, okay? If you're cooking vegetables on a stove, it steams it and then some of the nutrients and stuff yeah. goes down in the water. I mean, yeah. If you use... Where is my... Uh, here we go. If you use a microwave container, the liquids all stay. Look, folks. They all stay within the container. Or actually, if you make something in the microwave, the liquids all stay within the container. And you're cooking, you're steaming it with its own nutritional and, and a thing like this. This is a microwave cooking dish. So to me, that always made sense that you were probably getting. And okay, well, retaining the nutrients. We'll just uh, go. Well Similar with... to a crock pot, which cooks in all its juices, and it requires less water. Because the other ones require actually Anybody? more water to do a stovetop. You put your vegetables in this. You do like this, and guess what, folks? Mm -hmm. The nutrition stays right in the container, and it doesn't go out into the sink because, like I said, you're using like it this. It doesn't rinse out into the water that you dump out. I know. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. uh, my problem is, is, I think Miss Sibelius and those people, the government, don't. And they probably microwave. don't use microwaves. That's right. Because they they go out to eat all the time. Yeah, they, they said. Uh, it, the nutrition of via microwave food over conventionally cooked food has less to do with the cooking method itself and more the type of food that is cooked. That is shown the meat top ramen noodles. <laughs> yeah, and some said a microwave food for the correct period of, of time, usually for the nutrients because of the short amount of time that it's cooked. See, mm -hmm. they said if you cook it right, it, it basically because that means you have to use up like we just showed you. You use something like this, which you mm -hmm. should go out and invest in, because this does pasta, this does potatoes. We, you know, the other thing, we cooked potato soup in the other one. Mm -hmm. We've cooked uh, chili. I mean, and then, you know, this can be done. This is a steamer. You can basically put all your stuff on the bottom of the, you know, and take this back out. That's a steamer thing. You put your food on top of it, and it steams it. Well, you know, I think a lot of this bad nutritional reference is what they're talking about, is that if you buy things, I, I, um, buy things that are canned. Here's part of it is, if you have a tighter budget, you buy things that are on sale. They're not typically fresh because you want it to have a longer shelf life. Mm -hmm. So these things are mass produced, right? They usually have more sodium because... Because it has to be. Okay. They're preserved. The President of the United States is demanding that they stop using sodium in foods, which means you can't preserve the stuff. That's right. It's unpreservable. Or they might have creams and things like that to make it taste better. So yeah. guess what happens? Yeah. But Higher uh, calorie content. Yeah, they said that yeah. this puts fuel on the fire. The claim that speed and ease of microwave and cooking leaves the door open for less nutritional meals. You buy. Uh, what do they sell in the, in the health food grocery stores? Microwave food. Yeah, microwave food. They just sell it. They, yeah, brands of food. They just. 
the so, organic food. Oh, I know. I hate to say it. Like, Who would eat so oh, I know, I have a microwave? Mm. Nutritionally, I have a microwave. Because they get a food, the food, they can afford the stuff that is nutritional. Okay. See, here's. Okay. This is kind of like being on a diet. It's typically the food that tastes better has higher calories. Yeah. Whether it's in a microwave or not. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but here's a. Oh. Yeah. He said, That's however, crazy. and we're talking next to the very last paragraph, however, microwave cooking can be healthy. Mm -hmm. Many company are marketing special bags that can be used to steam vegetables in the microwave without losing any nutrition. I know the steam. I love the steamable. They also have built in thermostats that set the temperature of your food and prevent you from overcooking. I have one of those little beggars. Those things are really good. I know, it's really, that's why it stops it along the way. I can, I just push the little buttons, and mine wasn't even a good one. We're getting a good one that's got a convection oven in it. You can cook cakes in it. Actually, we cook cakes in this one. You can cook pastries in it. Actually, we cook pastries in this one. And we can cook a whole turkey. Well, I could cook a whole turkey, cook a whole ham. My God, you can cook anything that you can in an well, oven. Yeah, we'll talk about we cooked a cake in the microwave from scratch, which I'd never done in the oven. I did a banana yeah. cake, which is that. That was so good. Now, here's part of it. It was so good that I, like, sectioned it off. I kept it in the car, like, sectioned it off at a time. And it had no preservatives. For two it. weeks, no preservatives. No preservatives. It was so amazingly moist. And we're good. sitting there eating oh. stuff continually. You know, I finished it off like a Disney. It was dance, so but, good. But uh, uh, it's just, here's the problem is, is that... Now I'm getting in the mood to make carrot cake. Because yeah. that is a vegetable. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> and, um, There's it, carrots it, in it. We, we're doing a show. We do a show on microwaves. We, 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 you know, microwaves are... I, I've been around since the, basically the things you should have wearing. We should have been wearing a lead outfit because they leak so much radiation. A lead outfit because they basically condensed them down, but now they're going bigger because of the fact... I mean, she's got, you know, uh, she's got a great big Panasonic there. This thing is so... Pathetic compared to this thing. Okay, mine. Okay, mine is a mine is a, by, a product of what these things started out to be. Like this is an old microwave. The day mine is more powerful than this one was, and it's still it's a bigger machine than mine. But it this is not as powerful. This is not as big as the original ones. But the newer ones are. We look at that. We look at the hole where this microwave is. And we wonder, can we fit the new microwave in that thing? I know. This was when I bought this. I basically was looking for the largest microwave that could fit on the hole. Yeah, and now we're we're going to have to go get a measuring tape out. We think the new. We're looking at a, a, a microwave with a convection oven in it that basically you can, you know, it's got a rack in it, which I don't know how they. I don't know what the metal rack is doing. I don't think I touched that rack. There's a metal rack. Uh, it's it's got to be a special metal. Yeah, but it's a do. It's a double tier thing. You can do things in two spots. You've got a turn thing there and up above. Which is kind of cool. But um, be, uh, which is kind of cool. I love this. That um, uh, microwave cooking is such an important part of our culture. That even the most heinous news of microwave dangers is not likely to stop people from abusing their use. You know. But, which means all of those people that are not millionaires and billionaires are going to misabuse the micro. They're going to do things like, I, I'm not... Uh, I'm surprised they use this word heinous. Okay. Because uh, okay. you don't often see that in press releases. Okay, we are going to simply break the news to everybody. According to the President of the United States, she is a millionaire. Yeah, I certainly do not feel like one. I, I used to be a millionaire. Actually, after, I, was, I think I was one time a billionaire. Probably, yeah, you were. I was a billionaire according to the president's standards, which means that if you have a the day if you have a house that's worth if your wealth is a million bucks, if a hundred million dollars, you're a legitimate millionaire. But anybody that owns a home worth a quarter of a quarter of a million makes you a millionaire. So I used to own a place. Actually, I still own a place. I just can't live in it because it got burnt. You know that basically, I don't know. It basically was in Brentwood, and if you know Brentwood, you know that they. My home was built, my father built it for like $11,000. Really? Yeah, 11000 Double story thing, 11000 So, but uh, that, that would make me under modern standards. I was once in my life a billionaire. I'm an old person, you know. I, you know, <laughs> I don't even drive anymore because I'm old. So, uh, but, um, but this is basically meant 
to show the discrepancy between the wealthy have, they can eat nutritionally, the people that aren't wealthy don't eat nutritionally, and they will use microwaves in order to, to try to get food into their poor little systems because they oh, don't even yeah. afford good foods. Well, they didn't have the money before our president. They didn't have the, under our most prosperous times, they did not have the money to afford gourmet vegetables and fruits from foreign countries. Mm -hmm. They've always been too expensive. I don't know, I know wealthy people that won't touch that stuff because first of all, uh, you got, you got any idea who handled that thing? <laughs> yeah. They have different regulations than we do here. I mean, they won't buy something unless it unless it comes from the United States. The problem is we have seasons in this country, which means there are times of the year you cannot get vegetables and stuff. So you which buy Which is stuff why you buy things that you can make in the microwave, or either they're canned. Yeah. Right. Or they're frozen. Well, they've already attacked. Because it's out of season. They've already attacked the canned stuff because the can has too much sodium in it. Oh, yes. And uh, also, they, they want you to go to glass containers because glass containers, which cost more to make, are more ecologically sound than the metal containers because, a t you know, a tin can, which actually isn't tin anymore, can leak materials off into the food that are bad for you know, one tenth of one tenth of one tenth of one twentieth of one fiftieth. Was that of like one those lead percent. warnings that came on the plates? Yeah. You know, I'm probably, I probably shouldn't be doing. I probably shouldn't do that because it's probably going to give me. I'm going to. I'm. You know, as I found out, you know, I'm a lot older than what I thought I was. You know, don't ever get your. But don't ever ask for a birth certificate because then you find out the gruesome parts about age. But um, you know, like I said, I'm too old now. Since I, I I can lick the spoons off really good now, knowing well, you know, that spoon may have something hazardous for your health on it, according to our government. Yeah, it could have had ice cream on it too. So I don't know, but uh, we're 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 being facetious, which is a mouthful of words for all you people that don't know <laughs> what that means. It's for actually. This is for all the people that grew up under the Democratic Party controlled educational system. Facetious means you're making fun of something. <gasps> I know, but um, uh, it is serious because people do actually misabuse microwaves and people do get hurt every day. Bad microwave. Uh, uh, people, okay, there's a good one. Uh, I don't know if we got, I have to see if there's one in here. Oh, here we go. Uh, this little beggar is an egg. It can blow up in your face in the microwave. Well, what's your microwave doing in the face? I mean, what's your face doing in the microwave? <laughs> no, but you reach, you put this into the microwave, you heat it up to what you think is the right temperature, you reach in and then it blows up. It explodes like a cannon. You have to punch a hole in these things. Oh, you mean you don't, people aren't microwaving them correctly? I know, because we got, I don't know where it's setting, but we got a little device for punching a hole in the thing, so... But it's got a little a little pin thing on it just somewhere, but you punch a hole in it and that allows the air to vent. What happens is this is like a bomb. This is totally like a bomb. And say you bust this open and you put it on top of a plate or, you know, and uh, you don't poke a hole in the top, it, you know, reach in, boom, it can blow up in your face. It is a, you know, there's some things that have to be handled. Uh, you know, well, you don't have to do that on a stove. Well, that's right. It's a microwave. It is a. Uh, it's just. Um, uh, it's just cars. People, you know, they said that cars are not dangerous to the people that drive them. No, cars are actually dangerous because you put people behind the wheel that should never have been driving. Is that like saying guns aren't dangerous? Okay, yeah, guns are not dangerous to the people that handle them. Gun. Okay. Um, I never saw. Okay. Well, here's the trick: is I'll give you a lesson on gun control. My father said the only reason to have a gun is to kill somebody with. Okay. And he said if you're not going to kill somebody with the gun, then don't own the gun. That's simple. So therefore, if you put the gun in the hands of somebody that doesn't want to use it, you know, you deserve the results of happening. So, but, uh, but the, um, okay, this is coffee. I use coffee and I use highly caffeinated stuff to irritate my stomach to keep me awake. But I, um, I eat too many, I eat too much candy, I eat too much French fries. I love, love warm French fries, McDonald's. You know, I love, I love, I love wiener schnitzels. We got the chili on them. I eat everything that is wrong for me, and um, 
our government would basically tell me, you know, you shouldn't be doing that because that's going to kill you.